Hello, everybody. My name is Brian Blackmore with Church Production mm -hmm. Magazine. And today we're going to be talking about the 3D ME active ambient in-ear monitoring system from ASI Audio. These are universal earbuds with tiny external microphones that can be mixed into the monitor feed. So it reduces the feeling of isolation that musicians feel when using virtually any other type of in-ear monitor. It's patented technology that until recently was only available in high-end systems. And our guests today are Dr. Michael Santucci. He's an audiologist and the founder at Sensophonics, an R&D company based in Chicago. And Sensophonics and ASI Audio are sister companies. So, Michael, can you say hi? Hello, Brian. It's a real pleasure to be here with you. And thank you, Don, for joining us, too. Okay. So also joining us today is Don Poitras. He's a professional songwriter and worship leader based in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, he discovered the 3D ME uh, some months ago. Uh, Don's songs have been recorded by Willie Nelson, Cheryl Crow, Bonnie Raitt, Tim McGraw, Jackie Velasquez, and others. Um, and his songs have won Dove Awards and ASCAP Awards. So, Don, say hi to everybody. Oh, hey, everybody, and thank you, Brian, so much for having me. It's good to see you again, Michael. It's great to be here. Don, can you tell us about uh, some of the projects that you're working on now? Yes, I'll tell you what, one of the ones that I'm, I'm the most excited about is working with a, uh, an evangelist that called me. He just recently passed away, but I'd followed his ministry for the past 30 years. Most Americans don't know this name, but it's Reinhard Bonnke. And he's his most of his career has been missions in Africa. And uh, he's led over 79 million people to Christ. And uh, and so uh, and that's cards that that actual, you know, people have signed cards like at Billy Graham Crusade, 79 million. Mm -hmm. And so before he passed away, he felt like the Lord was giving him songs and he asked me to write songs with him. And so we're completing this project and it's actually snowballed into a really neat project where some major artists are really excited about being involved. And uh, and so anyway, we're writing those songs and recording that and hopefully it'll be out soon. So please, if you don't know him, check out Reinhard Bonnke, uh, his last name, B-O-N-N-K-E, and uh, and look for the project if you would. Sounds fascinating, Don. What, what style of music? It's modern worship. It's uh, very contemporary worship. Uh, in fact, like Meredith Andrews and Aaron Schust are singing on it, uh, some of the Bethel musicians, and uh, it's a very contemporary worship. And uh, But he was, as you can imagine, being an evangelist, uh, very meaty lyrics and, and very powerful words that, uh, that he had penned. So right. I'm I bet excited. he had some stories to tell. Oh man, it was it was such an honor just getting to to spend time talking to him. He was he was the real deal. All right. Well, be, before we get into Don's story, um, Michael, can you just tell us a little bit more about the three D ME and um, why it's different from other in ear monitoring systems? Sure, Brian. You know, the three D ME started as actually an extension of our original Active Ambient three D. Piece. So the 3D active ambient technology was developed to keep people's hearing safe by not having them remove one ear monitor. You know, one of the things about in-ear monitoring and safety is the amount of isolation that the earpieces provide so that you don't have to turn up louder than what's going on on stage to hear what you need to hear. Uh, the problem with that isolation is that people feel too separated from audience and other band members. And so you commonly see a musician pull one ear monitor out of their ear. Uh, as an audiologist, as Brian mentioned, my, my career is really to try and get musicians to hear better and maintain their hearing on stage. Taking one ear monitor out is really a bad thing for your hearing. It causes you to turn the in-ear monitor left in your 
other ear up to louder levels than than it was before and also you have an open ear getting bashed with sound so for hearing safety taking an ear out or even venting which is another way of just getting rid of the isolation you have no control over the volume of your ear monitor and ambience and so I'd ask them, why did you take one out? Oh, it doesn't sound the, the same. And I realized that localization cues from other musicians on stage and instruments are something that's built into the musician's brain. And so by adding small microphones into the earpieces, we are allowed to then bring in the sounds around you and get it to be a little bit more intimate with the audience and, and other musicians. Right. Well, Michael, tell us um, about the patented technology what, what, and how is that designed to, uh, to benefit the musicians? The, the patent was awarded in 2012. Uh, there are 49 claims in this patent. The strongest ones uh, have to do with the microphone being able to be that small, to be full bandwidth, uh, as well as the drivers, but the mic is full bandwidth and can get over... Uh, 130 dB without clipping. This is something that has never happened before, and that's a big claim in the patent. So when things get loud in those peaks, you're not getting a bunch of clipping going on. Um, the patent um, is also being extended right now to include the new uh, apps and other features of the 3D ME, which are advancements over the original 3D active ambient technology. Okay, Don, um, so what was it that first drew you to the 3D ME uh, in your monitoring system from ASI Audio? Well, it's really uh, what you talked about earlier. It's I had tried in-ear monitors and I just felt so isolated from the audience. Uh, especially as a worship leader, you know, you, you talk in between songs and, and you want to hear people singing back. And, uh, and so I'd always stayed away from in-ear monitors. And then I started having an, uh, an inner ear problem where I had to use them. And, uh, and so when a friend of mine told me about these monitors, I was like, man, that sounds like, you know, that could be a real game changer. So, so I tried them and, and they absolutely were, it, it takes you from being isolated and all of a sudden you feel like you're actually in a live, uh, musical setting. And, uh, and so, yeah, it was amazing. And the way they've got the, uh, the power, uh, pack on the belt where you can just mix in how much of the room sound, the ambient sound you want, uh, it's just incredible. So I, I've loved it. So Don, tell us, uh, tell us about the moment uh, that you first tried them on and, and realized, uh, how they were different from, from other monitors that you've tried. Well, I tell you, it's, uh, just being able to, to mix in that ambient sound that that's, I mean, a whole nother world. Um, and, and so with with being able to mix in the ambient sound even one of the things is that drives people crazy is is sometimes it's not easy to get your the the ear in ears sealed in your ear really good and so if you're in a practice if you're practicing before the concert and then you need to start talking to people all of a sudden you feel like you need to pull it out again to be able to start talking to people and then you have to get it resealed all over again. And, uh, and with these, instead of having to pull the in ears out, all you do is just turn up the mic and you can talk to everybody on stage without having to unseal your ears, which is amazing. And, uh, and for me, uh, with hearing problems, I actually use them even almost like, uh, uh, hearing aids where when I finish the concert, I just unplug from the system, keep them in, walk down, and I use them as hearing aids because they're powered from my belt and I just keep the microphones on. So especially for me with hearing problems, they, they have multiple uses for me.
Michael, um, tell us about some of the other features, uh, the things you can do uh, with the sound through the app. Uh, the, the 3DME is an advancement over the original active ambient technology because what we've done is added the ability to EQ with seven bands of EQ and an app. We can EQ the mics. We can put a limit on how loud you want the product to go. And we can also uh, change the mic levels on both ears. So you can separate the ears, treat your ears differently. If you hear differently on both sides, uh, you can turn one ear up. You can turn all the mics down. It enhances, it reduces. It's an active ear plug as well as an in-ear monitor. You can go completely isolated and then like Don does, use the mics to, to connect again with the congregation or other musicians on stage. Um, so that's the way it kind of works is to have these different EQs to have you select your own. Uh, I always say, who's the best monitor engineer for you? You are. And this allows you to be that. Don, how have you found these other features uh, that enhance the use of these uh, uh, the external microphones on the in ears? How have you how have you found found those to benefit you? Well, the the main thing is having the presets, and and like Michael said, not having to uh, to count on the engineer to have it preset. Because um, like in my church, you know, we may have two different bands in between uh, from Sunday to Sunday. And, uh, and so all I have to do is plug into the app and those same, all those same levels just upload. And yeah, it, the great thing is from, from week to week, um, you know, people change the, the, the board mixes, people change the settings. And, and so for, to be able to have the, the ability to just plug into my app and all of my presettings just download instantly on the power pack. I know they're going to be preset correctly. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that makes such a huge difference. Um, the other thing is, especially for me where I'm deaf in my right ear and have a good left ear, they have a thing on the app called crossover and, and you could probably explain it better than I can, Michael, but it basically takes what instruments would be stereo in my my deaf ear and moves it to my my good ear and and it feels like I'm hearing stereo again. And so it really changes the sound for me dramatically from regular earbuds. Yeah, the options, one of the options, of course, is these presets. So let's say you're a jobbing musician and a worship leader, or you play in a praise band, and then on weekends uh, you're doing something with a country band or whatever, and you have a whole nother set of pre, uh, pre-mix that you want to have preset. You can choose between those presets depending on which situation. The cross option, contralateral routing of signal, what it's called, is we're just taking a microphone, putting it on the ear that doesn't hear, and then sending all the signals coming from that side of your head over to the ear that can hear. So it gives you an illusion of a full stereo field. Uh, musicians have told me they haven't heard that side of their instrument or band before. If you're a drummer, a drummer said, I've never heard that side of my drum kit before. Uh, there's a, an unbelievable amount of musicians who have a unilateral hearing loss. Uh, and this is another option to help people play better and still protect themselves. Uh, I also want to mention these other applications that we're finding uh, our users are, are implementing. One is home recording. Uh, when you're doing these Zoom concerts, this is really nice because you can play music through your speakers and listen through the microphones and the ear monitors and then track yourself through the in-ear monitors like earphones rather than trying to hear it all through the same system. Uh, we've heard great reports about people's ability to, to really separate things and enjoy doing that a lot more. Also, there's people, just consumers, using this as a home theater device because it sounds so great and it's all analog, by the way. This is not a DSP. The only DSP in the unit is the programming by app. Everything else is analog. So. Uh, your television can sound really good without people in the family. If you have some hearing loss complaining that you've got it too loud or turned up the highs too much. 
so I just wanted to mention those other applications that we're finding besides uh, uh, musicians. Michael, um, tell us a little bit about Sensophonics and the relationship between Sensophonics and ASI Audio. Well, Sensophonics, I started in 1985. We've been around a long time. Our first in-ear monitors were in 92 with the Grateful Dead, and it kind of put us on the map. Uh, all the products that we developed are to help musicians hear better, but to also to keep them from losing hearing, which is our mission here at Sensophonics, being all audiologists. Uh, we had this product, 3DME, used by many major performers, Dave Matthews Band and others. I've uh, used it for eight years but it's quite expensive, $2,000 to $2,500. Uh, and somebody said, why don't you make a universal fit one that's cheaper and, and do some things with the microphones? And we didn't have that technology here or the ability to do that. So I joined forces with a company named TAM from Ohio, and they do have the Bluetooth and uh, app development technologies that we needed. So it became a really nice partnership where they would fill in the holes where we needed their expertise. And it's together we've come up with a pretty, pretty impressive product, I think. And what is the retail price, Michael? Oh, and so previously the the custom version of our 3D, which was the only one available initially, was two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars per person, which really limited a lot of worship leaders who would say, "I really like that idea, but I can't afford that." Uh, this is six ninety nine, so it's really a huge. It's one third the cost of the fully custom one. Uh, you can add custom sleeves or tips made to your ear on the end if you'd like. And just to say before the end of the year, I want to announce that there will be a fully custom version, both in dual and then soon to have quad speakers. Uh, that'll be back up to the $2,000 price range. But right now, this was to get the product to the masses, to people that everyone can enjoy the technology without having to break the bank. Okay, well, we've been talking today about the 3D ME active ambient in-ear monitoring system from ASI Audio. And our guests today have been Dr. Michael Santucci and Don Poitras, uh, songwriter, worship leader in Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, my name is Brian Blackmore with Church Production Magazine. Thank you so much for joining us today.